very good morning to all of your students hope you all are doing very well and welcome you all to english literature class today we will do new chapter chapter 4 from fragrance english reader and that is a clump of lilac okay a clump of lilac This story is written by Russian, okay, Russian writer. His full name is Alexander Ivanovich Kuprin. Okay, Alexander Ivanovich Kuprin. Of course, as he is a Russian writer. so setting of the story is russia only okay all the characters everything are russian only of course alexander ivanovich has written many novels and short stories you can say he is explorer as well and uh <clears throat> his novel the duel okay was very famous is still liked by many people there yeah. his short stories famous short stories are molok alicia junior captain rebnikov okay the garnet bracelet okay so now let's begin this story A clump of lilac. Do you know clump? Clump means mass. Means collection or group of a plant or bush. Okay, that grow together. That is clump. And lilac, of course, lilac is flower. You know, this is sweet smelling white or purple flower. So here in this story, a clump of lilac. Plays very important role. Actually, what happens? The hero of the story is going to submit a project work that is final part of the examination, and he has to draw a local map. And as he is, he's been very tired working on the map. so by mistake there is he has completed his work map work but my by mistake there is a, a spot on the map and to hide that map the hero draws there a clump of lilac and when he submits his project work to professor professor has doubt because he is very expert okay in map work so he says that he himself will uh, will visit the place to verify if there is that clump of lilac on the spot okay this is a thing and kolya thinks that as a professor goes there to verify and his map work will be rejected and again he will be declared fail okay this is the story see what happens now what happened you know very well i have given you the basic idea means kolya has gone to submit his project work now uh, to the college now he has he returned his wife veera opens the door and kolya kolya's full name is nikolai yevgrafovich almasov nikolai yevgrafovich almasov okay this is here name you can see his name is written here see here his name is here Here his name is written. 
you can see. Okay, means Nikolai Yevgrapovich Almaso. <coughs> and his nickname is Kulla. He has returned home from college. His wife of Vera opens the door and Kolya enters the room and goes directly very fast to his study room. Even he doesn't take off his overcoat and hat. His wife Vera has understood that something bad has happened. Because Kolya's face is very sad, means grim. Grim means very grim or gloomy here. Gloomy, yeah, the word has been used gloomy. G L double O G L double O M Y. Gloomy means very sad or serious. Of course, Kolya is very much upset. That's why even he is not spoken talking to his wife okay then there is a description of Kolya means Almaso he is actually young officer army officer which very poor he had just joined okay and to get promotion he is he joined college as well and means staff college as well and this was the last day to submit his product, uh, project work to his professor. Actually, in the examination, all the papers had been fairly well. Okay, but this was the last and much and the most difficult that project work. Okay, and all until now the examination was going fairly well. And only due to the full cooperation from Veera, Kolya's wife. Miss Kolya's wife Veera never demanded any luxurious thing for her. Okay? She always tried to give comfortable things or whatever things Kolya needed to study. Because Veera knows that her husband is involved in brain work. He studies brain work only, you know. And even she always keeps Kolya's spirit high, means willpower, energy very high. Though Kolya earlier failed twice in entrance examination of the staff college event, in third attempt, he entered the staff college and even in a bad time Veera actually keeps always gay countenance gay countenance gay means cheerful countenance face there is always cheerful face there is always smile on Veera's face and that gives only energy to Kolya and during this examination Kolya, uh, Veera has copied the papers for Kolya. Okay. And even she drew his plan and even read lessons to him so that he can understand. Yeah. And these all were great help for Almashor. Almaso, okay? It means Kolya. <coughs> now, he has come, she has come to talk to Kolya and ask if his work, map work, didn't satisfy the professor. But Kolya shrugged his shoulders like this. Shrugged. I mean, raised one shoulder in order to show ignorance. Means don't know, like this. Okay, and did, doesn't speak anything. Kolya only raises his shoulders like this to show notice that he, he doesn't know. Then again, Veera, <coughs> sorry, wants to know from Kolya that if uh, his work, map work was rejected. 
and requested him to tell her the fact. And by listening that, Kolya becomes very angry. Okay, you know his intention. He is very upset from inside, and he thinks that some injustice has been done to him. In something unfair thing has been happened to him. Means he has been treated unfairly by the professor. Not only by the professor, but by the fate also. Fate. And he is very irritated. As though one uh, think that one uh, thinks that injustice has had been taking place to that person. Of course, if some you think that and some unfair thing has happened to you, of course you will get irritated and angry. The same thing happens, and then he starts speaking in very angry tone. Yes, the project work has been rejected. And angrily, he hits with his foot the box, this container where map work is kept, and he says that now this map work must be put into fire and burn because now it is nonsense, useless, rubbish means nonsense, useless. Okay, and he says that it was going to be the end of the college for him. And as the map book has been rejected, so he will be failed, declared failed, and he will return to his work. And of course, with insult, all the all the colleagues there will insult him. Disgrace means insult. Why? Because he couldn't pass. They will say that he couldn't pass the examination. Okay. And only he says, reason behind this disgrace that curse a sport. I have told you already, curse means which brings bad luck. And a sport. Why? As he was very much tired, as he had been working all night, so by mistake there is a spot in the map. <coughs> and to hide that spot, he draws there a clump of lilac. And professor has doubt, and he and has doubt, and he has said that he will visit the place himself to verify if there is really a clump of lilac. And uh, Kolya knows that as professor is uh, very much expert, so if he goes there to verify at the at the real spot, of course, he his work will be rejected and he will be declared fail. That's why he is saying the spot cursed. Okay, well, dear students, that's all for today. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Now, see you in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much.